Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be comparing overdrive pedals and seeing what um, just what different qualities they have, but that they're all still overdrives. You know, how different can they sound but still be called an overdrive? I don't know. We're just going to compare overdrives. Um, I've got six pedals that we're going to listen to little samples of, and they range from this $20 pedal to the $100 pedal. And um, just, uh, you know, yeah, like I say, just see what uh, different characteristics they have. Um, I've got all the pedals set. Um, tone, straight up 12 o'clock. Gain, straight up 12 o'clock. So there's no tweaking of all that. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just dive into it. Listened back to uh, all the tracks and um, took some notes. And um, I started with the Tube Screamer because that is the, you know, kind of like quintessential, you know, overdrive. And um, I compared each uh, pedal to the tone of the Tube Screamer. And um, so, yeah, let's just, uh, you know, the Tube Screamer is what an overdrive is supposed to sound like. I mean, it's just, you know, you can't go wrong with the Tube Screamer. Um, <laughs> the Pure Sky... Um, I thought that one had a little bit tighter sound to it. Didn't quite have the openness that the uh, Tube Screamer had. Um, the Mojo Mojo, I thought was maybe a little warmer, but it was definitely darker. I thought it had a darker sound to it. Um, the Delamo, I thought that was cleaner and uh, maybe a little bit more open, um, but probably not a lot. Just uh, I just I like that pedal. It just has a good sound to it. Um, the Cool Music, um, I thought was definitely dirtier and um, more of a closed sound. And I think it kind of uh, dips into the distortion range and, you know, almost gets out of that overdrive. Um, it still has some good overdrive tones, but definitely has more of an edge to it. And uh, the pig tone, I thought, sounded a lot like the cool music. Um, had, it, had that dirtier tone, kind of getting close to distortion. But I thought it was a little bit more open than the cool music. And um, so, yeah, um, <laughs> this was just a fun little experiment that I thought that we would try. And... Um, I was just, I was surprised how different they sounded, and I like that. I mean, they all still had qualities that were overdrive, but they all had their own sounds. They all, you know, sounded a little bit different, which is great. So the next time somebody tells you, uh, why do you need more overdrives? You've already got overdrives. It's because they're all different. Show them this video, and this this will be why you have to uh, buy more overdrives. <laughs> just trying to help. Um, as always, if you like guitar videos, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe down there. Help me grow the channel. Um, hit the bell. Hit the like. Do all that shit that you're supposed to do. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next video.